Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got a fun little one for you today. We've got an image hover effect. I've got three little round images at the top here. When you hover over, they're gonna change shape, grow a little bit, and you can click on them as usual. Have a light box if you want to, or link them to anywhere you want. And that's a great little eye-catching effect to have on your desktop site. It will work on tablet and mobile, but of course I'll have to tap on the actual image. Let's get started. There's no actual coding in this today. We're just using the inbuilt features of the Divi theme itself, so it's really easy. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. And let's go down. I've got a section here, the blue tab. Inside I've got a row with three columns in it. Obviously you put as many or as few columns you want in yours. I'm going to delete this row and we'll start from scratch. Okay, I'm going to add a new row, a little green button right there. I'm going to use three columns again for mine. And inside, I'm going to put a Divi image module. There we go, right there. Now to create this effect today, to have round images, you really want to start off with an image that's square. So use square images for this today. If you use long or tall images, you'll end up with an oval or an ellipse. So I'm going to use square images for this today and add an image. Let's pop that one in. Great, as you can see, it's square. Now initially, I want to see it as a round image. And then when we hover over it, I want it to go back to being square and grow a little bit. So we'll do that in a moment. If I roll down here, you've got the usual image link. I'm going to have mine open in a light box by just checking that. But of course, if you don't want to do that, you can link your image anywhere by putting a URL in there. Always best practice. If you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off site, open in a new tab so that your site stays open. OK, well, let's flip the light box on. That's what I'm going to use for mine today. Don't need a background or an admin label. Let's go over to our design tab. Now to make this perfectly round, like I say, it's square initially. I'm going to go down to border. Make sure that the little chain is highlighted in the middle. It'll do all four at once for you. I'm going to put 50%, not pixels. I'm using percent for this. A high pixel value will work, but my default for round images is 50 and the percent sign. As you can see, we've got a perfectly round image. Now you may notice when I hover over there, the actual title of the image pops up, hands right there. If you want to see that, great, leave it as it is. If you don't want that to pop up, go over to your advanced tab, down to attributes, and there it is, image title text, hands. You can simply delete it. Then when you hover over, it won't be there, which is great. Okay. That's fantastic what I want to see initially. Let's move this a little bit closer over here. But when we hover over it, I want it to go back to being square. I want it to grow a bit. I think I want a bit of box shadow also on all. So I'm going to go back to design. I'm going to just add a little box shadow lifted off the page for a bit of drama. We use that one. We've got a nice little bit of box shadow there. Great. Well, let's create our hover effect now. And I'm going to do that with the actual border again, where we put in our 50%. And this is common to all Divi modules. If you hover over the dark writing within a module, you'll see some little icons appear. Make sure you go up to the thing that you want to affect. Don't go to something else and put a value in there because it won't work. Go up to the thing you want to affect, in my case, the border up here. And if there's a little arrow there, like there is in our case here, click on it gives us two little tabs there. A desktop when the mouse is not on it, you can set one value, and a hover obviously when your mouse is on it. When they hover on it, I want it to become square again. I'm simply gonna put a zero in there. Great, that's just what I want. But when they hover on it, I also want it to grow, just to make it a little more interesting. To do that, again, we can roll on down, and we've got transform. And we've got several tabs at the top here. We've got scale, which is the one I'm going to use today and make it bigger and smaller. Translate, which will move it. Rotate, obviously, which will turn it around. 
skew and transform origin which is how it actually revolves so I'm going to use scale for this today and you can mix and match several of these if you want to but I want it on hover again so again we're going to go up to the transform hit the little arrow right there on hover state I'm going to make it maybe a quarter bigger 125 and you can slide up or you can type in a value for this today make sure the little chain is checked down there so it'll do both sides at once if you want different values for each side and just uncheck that great well that works pretty much for me for what I want so it's going to go from the round state there when we're not got the mouse on it to the square larger version when we do hover on it now the time it takes by default with Divi to go from desktop to hover is 300 milliseconds which is pretty quick I tend to slow things down for a bit of grace and drama but that's entirely up to you if you want to do that go into your advanced we're going to go down to transitions this time and here's the transition duration the time it takes there's the default 300 milliseconds I'm going to take mine up to I don't know 0.7 of a second or maybe 0.75 which is 750 milliseconds transition delay I don't want any delay as soon as they put their mouse on it I want it to do its thing transition speed curve ease will work fine but my go-to for these hover effects is ease in ease out that way when you take your mouse back off of it it'll ease back out to how it was and you'll, you'll see that in a moment so that's pretty much all I want to do to this one let's save it and see what it's going to look like on the front end I'm going to go down I'm going to save the page changes little purple button green save button and let's exit the visual builder and there it is right there when we hover over it it's going to grow it's going to become square and you can click on it to pop out a light box or take your visitors to whatever link you've put in there and you don't have to go through all that again to recreate this if you want three in a row I'll just demonstrate that quickly I'm going to enable the visual builder again and all I'm going to do is clone this module dark tab for a module two little squares is the duplicate button or clone I'm going to hit it twice so we've got three of them the little X right there or the little cross we can drag it left click drag it to where you want it release it'll put it there do the same for the next one and then you can simply go in there change this image remember to put another image in that's got the same aspect ratio in our case square right here and we're going to the next one and pop that one in while we're in here if you want to crop an image to make it square you can go in there you can hit the edit image we can go in here hit the crop I want mine to be sort of square so we can make a round image out of it so to make it square we want to make sure that the height and width are exactly the same so I'm going to change that 766 to 830 and we've got a square image and the aspect ratio is going to be one to one which means the height and the width are exactly the same and now let's hit the crop and we've got a square image you can go ahead and save it and we can now go back to our page if I load this image now we've got a square version of it over there and like I say you've just had to rinse and repeat that we'll save our changes now make sure that this is all going to work on the front end exit the visual builder and there we go we've got our three little images there with our nice little hover effect looks like that middle one I've got to take that name away if you don't want to see it so there you have it guys there's a very simple but effective hover effect for your images I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel don't forget if you have any questions pop them down below I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video 
Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.